Welcome back everybody. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create an elliptical wing in OpenVSP. Uh, so to do this we're going to use a new uh, blending function available for wings uh, in the latest release of OpenVSP. I've got 3.16.1 as you can see here. So just make sure you're up to date and have the current version. So the first thing we'll do is just add a new wing. And I like looking at it uh, from the top view as we have here. So the first thing we're going to do at this point is go to your section tab and eliminate the sweep. So all I have to do is double click, put zero in there, hit enter. Next we're going to eliminate the change the sweep location. So instead of at the leading edge, we want it at the mid mid chord point. So I'm just going to type in 0.5 here and hit enter. So now we can see that uh, our wing is looking more symmetric, that the leading edge and the trailing edge have the same shape. So from here, we want to go to this blending tab that I was talking about earlier. And we're going to modify. So we've got an option for the leading edge and the trailing edge. We're going to change the outboard on both of these two angles so we can adjust these so for the sweep in both of these we're going to do zero and as you can see it's looking more elliptical alright so the next thing I want to do is control the strength of each and you can see what happens and just play around with this yourself uh, obviously you can't go too extreme otherwise it does uh, mess up the geometry and you probably don't want to go with too much curvature too early on uh, if you look at a Spitfire which is a World War II fighter aircraft it tends to be straighter on the leading edge of the wing uh, till about the mid span location and then it really starts to curve in towards the tip so we're going to mimic that and what I found to be a good starting point for this is 1.5 on the strength and I'm going to repeat that for the trailing edge. So now we're actually in pretty good shape. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that you have a black line here. That's representing what the curvature of the wings actually want to do. But the geometry itself is not that defined. If we want to add more sections or segments of, of this wing to get a shape ultimately that's closer to what we want we can go to so under our section tab this num u that's going to control these lines here and if we increase that we can see that these blue lines are getting closer and closer and closer to what this black line is showing us so now if we go to shade we can see that we've got a nice smooth leading and trailing edge curve okay so I'm gonna go back to our wire view and to the top again so what do we want to do up here to smooth this well one thing we can do is add a section so I'm just gonna insert a new section and we're essentially just kinda of creating a a tip for this wing so we don't need that long of a span actually I'm just kinda eyeballing this so okay we're gonna go about there and then modify this tip cord and again I want it to happen symmetrically so we know we got to change our sweep location and I'm gonna decrease this tip a little bit more and then we can go back to our blending tab and you want to go to this first blend airfoil otherwise we're actually modifying it at this location we don't want to modify it there we want to modify it here you can see this darker uh, red line appear at whatever section that you're at so we can go back to one change this again to angles like we did earlier uh, but now here we're gonna use what uh, default numbers are in here and modify it 
from there to get a little bit better curvature. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to, I know I want it to be around 50 and I'm going to do the same for the outboard. And you'll notice that this one's negative. Okay, that's looking pretty good. But I want to modify the strength have a little bit smoother curvature. I'm good with that. So about 0.86. Okay, and so the last thing that we're going to do to complete this wing is under our plan, sec plan tab, we have this tip treatment list here, and I want to modify the tip of our second section in just the tip not the root so we're gonna leave this alone and just modify the tip cap tight so right now it's actually flat and I'll show you if I hit the R key again we've got these points that show up and we can click on a point now that allows us to rotate about that so we can see better what's actually going on here so we have it selected as flat so the tip is just a plane it's just flat uh, if we hit and select the round tip cap type we can see we have a rounded tip which is nice if we hit shade we can get rid of these boxes by clicking in this box we've got a very nice elliptically shaped wing I'm pretty happy with that so uh, just play around with some of these parameters and uh, fine-tune it to whatever specs that's your particular wing uh, needs to conform to and that's really all that there is to it